Mouse support on the iPad Pro is a game changer. What's up? This is John from John Branch 4 Photography, and I've had a chance to go ahead and load the iPad OS beta on my iPad, and I've been using it for the last week or so, and I'm just at a loss for words at how amazing it is. If you're not familiar with iPad OS, it's basically the next OS that's coming out for the iPads. Pretty much is iOS 13, but it has a lot of features that are specific to the iPad. One of the biggest ones is mouse support. While the mouse support is basically just for accessibility, I found it to be extremely useful in the last week or so that I've been using it. So let's take a quick look at using it, its use cases, and also how it works in Lightroom, because now I can legitimately edit my photos nearly as quick as I can on my PC. So. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Let's check it out. So to start using a mouse with your iPad Pro, first you need to have a Bluetooth mouse. I got this little cheapy HP one, which sucks, but it works. <laughs> so I have it, it was like 40 bucks or whatever, it works. But if you have a Bluetooth mouse, anyone should work with the iPad. One tip too, I found out that Apple mouses actually don't work, the newer ones at least. So the Magic Mouse 2, because it doesn't sync just through Bluetooth, will actually not work with the iPad Pro currently, which I'm hoping they'll fix that in the actual release of iPad OS. So on your iPad, go to Settings, Accessibility, Touch. Inside of this menu is where you can sync up your mouse with your iPad and also change the buttons if you need to. I currently have my right click set up as the home button since iPads don't really have an extra menu that comes up when you right click. So with my left click simulating a touch and the right click going home, this thing flies, like I can move through the menus, look at emails, just go through everything so, so quickly. So let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom now and get a good look at this in action. So here I am on my iPad Pro with my lovely HP mouse. You can see here the little mouse icon, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's a little circle and it acts as a touch. So pretty much I'm clicking and holding so I can drag it just the same as if I was touching the screen. I set my right click to home button so I can double click it and get all my stuff here. I can go into an app and get out of it. Double click again and quit it. Oh, and then you gotta click it and drag it off. So it's really awesome. But let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom and I can show you some editing. So as of right now, Lightroom's not fully optimized to use the mouse, but either way, it's been such a better experience. So let's go find some stuff that we can actually edit. I have a wedding here that I'm still working on. So we got a bunch of photos. And here are the groomsmen shots, which I have not finished editing yet. So let's jump into that. So the nice thing, since I have this awesome bridge keyboard, which if you haven't checked out my video on that, check it out, it's in the link above. But with the keyboard, I have key commands, and with my mouse now, I can get around quickly. So more like a laptop, I can just sit a hand here on the left side and use my key commands when I need them. So for instance, Command C to copy my settings. And now I can scroll over to a different photo, like this one, and I can Command V and paste my settings and it's just like that and you see I'm using the mouse to navigate and the key commands to paste and it's just really awesome especially if you have a set of photos like this where they're all basically the same you can come in and just quickly go through now Lightroom doesn't have batch editing so I can't do that like I can on my actual desktop but being able to just paste settings and go to the next one and paste the settings again it's really really awesome now one thing you're noticing in Lightroom is that if I try and paste too quickly while it's loading it won't let me paste and it'll give me this cannot paste settings so I do have to wait on it depending on my internet and how fast that is it does make a difference but for the most part I'm just quickly going in here and pasting my settings and making super quick edits I can use G to go back to the grid, and it's just, it's really awesome. Let's see if I can find something else. I know I edited some of their portraits, 
so that should be in here or even for example I have a couple of the kits so I can come in here wait for it to load copy the settings hit the check I can come back I can paste it on this one oh let's you know what let's make sure we're filtered on five stars yes paste it here that looks good I can crop in a bit if I want to and I mean it's just it's so much faster it's so good okay let's edit one or two more photos from scratch Here's a photo. So I can go to geometry, straighten it up, go to my presets on the right, add my preset, which shameless plug for my natural feels preset pack if you haven't checked it out. It's really awesome. Turn up the exposure. Let's handle this white balance a little bit. There you go. I think it's a little too magenta. Pull back on that a little bit. But yeah, quick edits on the iPad. And then yet again, I can take this and copy it. And I could go to this photo and paste it. So yeah, it's really awesome using a mouse with Lightroom on your iPad Pro. So that was a quick look at using a mouse on an iPad Pro with Lightroom, which is hands down hands down the best. I hope you all enjoyed watching that and maybe you got some ideas or just got super excited about using a mouse on your iPad Pro once the OS actually drops. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, leave me any questions in the comments about using a mouse with your iPad Pro and I will catch you all next time. All right, peace.